Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, we are going to continue the advanced series of Python and here we are going to see the exact difference between shallow copy versus deep copy. So in this particular video, I'm going to take three things that we are going to learn. One is equal to, then one is copy operation and then one is something called as deep copy operation. So we'll try to understand this particular difference. I had a lot of confusion before on this, but I try to learn it. I try to understand it. And there were some of the queries that were asked by some of the people in one of my classes. At that time, I just tried to deep dive into it and try to understand the entire concept. And the same concept, I'm going to explain it over here to you all. Now, remember, whenever you want to learn about shallow copy or deep copy, always consider the data that you're going to or the variables that you're going to initialize should be collection because collections of elements are mutable and they should also have this mutability property itself, right? And if you don't know about mutability, don't worry, I'll also be uploading a video very soon about that also. Now let's take one example and let's understand, first going, uh, we'll go ahead and understand about this equal to operation. Now suppose if I want to apply a list one, I will create a list one considering some elements like list one is equal to one, two, three, four. And then I will also create another list which will be assigned to list one. Now this equal to operation I'm talking about, this list two is basically assigned with list one. Now once I execute this here, you will be able to see this is my list one. And then you'll also be able to see this is my list two. Okay, so list one is this, list two is this. Now what happens, suppose I try to uh, take out one element of list two. Suppose I want to take out the index element of uh, list two. And when I check the index one, I'm getting the value as two. Suppose I assign it with some other value like 1000. Okay. And I execute it. Now what will happen is that I will be able to see that in list two, I'll be getting that particular element in the second, in the first index as thousand. Now one important thing that you have to note that even though I check the element of list one here also, it has got updated. Now why probably this thing may have happened? Because understand list one, when it is creating this collection of items, it is being creating in some memory location. And both the variables are actually referring that but same memory location. So that is the reason if one of the variable changes the element, it will also get reflected in the memory itself. So both the variable will be referring to the same memory itself, right? So this is the most important thing. And this is what you have understood about equal to. Before going ahead with respect to this particular video, this video has been sponsored by an academy. So guys, if you are in the final year of a graduation or planning to prepare for gate or EAC examination, then you are at the right place and Academy is back with its CS or IT batch Evolve 2022. These batches are starting from 18 Jan 2021. Don't miss a single class. Take all the live session and prepare with the best unacademy educators, including Ravindra Babu Ravula. If you don't know about Ravindra Babu Ravula, guys, he's an amazing uh, teacher and you can also see his YouTube videos with respect to gate you will be getting 800 plus hours of total lectures covering the full gate or EAC course along with solving all your doubts. Do make sure that you try to use uh, my code that is KN06 to get an additional 10% discount. You can also take the demo class to get a full clarity about the educator that is Ravindra Babu Ravula and subscribe to this particular platform. All the information regarding this will be given in the description of this particular video. Now, what we will do is that we will try to use again, we'll, we'll just copy this and we'll go with our copy operation. Now see this, I'm just going to say copy operation. Now inside this copy operation, what I'm going to do instead of just assigning like list one, I will do dot copy operation. Okay. I'll do something called as dot copy. Okay. Now when I do dot copy, that basically means it says that, okay, I'm going to take all the elements of list one. And remember guys, this is a kind of shallow copy. Okay, this is a kind of shallow copy. I'll tell you the exact difference between shallow and deep copy, but just understand when we are taking this shallow copy as an example, we have to use dot copy operation. Now, when we do use dot copy operation, you here, you will be able to see once I'll execute it. Okay, suppose this is my list two. And if I try to see this particular elements and suppose I want to assign, I want to change any elements over here. Suppose I want to change the first index element, right? So what is my first index element two? Let me just consider that I want to make it to thousand. Now, when I do this particular operation, remember when I do dot copy operation here, it is going to make a different memory location. It is not going to just refer the same memory location. Okay. Now, if I go and see my list two, and if I try to compare with list one, you'll be seeing that, sorry, it should be LST one. You'll be seeing that 
in list two only your first index has been changed but in list one it has not been changed because now both are having different different memory location now this is one thing this is one very very important thing now guys if i create some list or i can say if i create some nested list this shallow copy definition whatever we did over here will change a little bit let me just show you an example again i'm going to take a shallow copy with respect to nested list okay this will be with respect to nested list and suppose let me consider and create some nested sub list okay so something like this five six seven eight and then i will just create this and now if i go and see this here you is your list one so this is basically your list one and here you can actually see your list two right so i have my list one and list two now just consider over here one very very important thing definitely whenever i use nested sub list okay over here initially i just created this list right it was a single dimension list i can consider in that way i did not had a nested list over here but here when i created this nested uh, list uh, sub nested list or nested list at that time you'll be able to see that if i try to change one element like this suppose if i say list of one list of one is nothing but this one and suppose if i go and see zero this basically referring to the five element if i try to see this value i'm getting five now if i try to replace this with something else like 100 okay because here you'll be able to understand the exact difference between shallow copy and deep copy now if i go and see my list two here you'll be able to see that 100 is getting replaced 100 is getting assigned if i also go and see my list one here also you'll be able to see 100 is getting assigned now what is happening over here initially when you used like this in this particular way when i was trying to change only one single element inside a list that is basically an item right this is one item this is the other item this is the next item and this is the next item here we have this i can consider as one item right and this i can consider my next item inside this item you have different different objects right when you have in this particular scenario and when you try to change this particular value this value will get copied in both the list after you make the changes because it is referring to the same object inside the nested list both the variables are referring to the same object that is present inside the list this is the most important thing to understand okay in this scenario whenever you have a nested list and when you try to perform the same operation like how we did with respect to one specific element inside this nested list at that time those updation will happen if i take one more example suppose this is my list one right the, if i write dot append when i do a dot append operation see this this is very very important in shallow copy if i do a dot append operation with some of the elements like uh, 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 and if i execute it now if i go and see my list one here you'll be able to see that i'm getting this particular element but since i've used this shallow copy over here if i go and see in list two here you will not be seeing that this value is getting appended so this item will not get copied but if you're making changes inside and um suppose if you're changing if you're if you're making changes on the object that is present inside the list at that time it will definitely make a change understand guys very very simple is that when i'm creating a nested list this is considered as a collection of item okay inside this i have various objects right one two three four right this will be getting referred by both list one and list two but when we have multiple items like this and when i am adding suppose one item like two three four five at that time the same thing is not getting referred over here this is about shallow copy i'll talk about deep copy also now let's go ahead with respect to deep copy now in deep copy you try to do anything and for using deep copy i have to use import copy and inside this import copy what i'm going to do is that i'm going to first of all create a list one suppose this is my list one one comma two comma three comma four okay and list two is basically to uh, i'll just assign it to um, i can use this copy library i'll say copy dot there's something called as deep copy and here i'm going to use list one now when i execute this okay suppose this is my list two and i want to change probably the first index element is equal to thousand here you'll be able to or is equal to hundred and now if you go and see your list two here you are getting hundred but when i go and see list one i'm not getting any value this works exactly like sh uh, shallow copy in this scenario when you have a single nest uh, single uh, list itself a single dimension list where you don't have nested list right this is not a nested list whenever this scenario is there 
remember deep copy in this scenario in this scenario i'll just write down a comment in a single dimension list when when i say single dimension don't over complicate it things guys it is not a nested list i'm just saying that so i'll say that in a normal list okay shallow copy is equal to deep copy okay now let's try to understand what happens if i try to make a nested list suppose this is my list one and here i'm going to take elements like this okay and here i'm going to say one two three or uh, comma three comma four comma five and then i'll have one more list like five comma six comma seven okay now see this if i make list two and here i'll say that copy dot deep copy dot deep copy copy dot deep copy this is very very important to understand you will face some kind of confusion i'd suggest go and just practice this here you'll be able to understand now see this this is my list two okay this is my list two right now when i am using list two suppose i want to change one element one of zero at that time if i go and see this i'm getting three suppose if i change this element to hundred okay this is the element guys okay now if i go and see my lst2 and if i go and see my lst1 here you'll be able to see that now this copy is not being this value is not getting copied in the other list since we perform this only operation in list2 this got only copied over here and this is basically deep copy now for everything that we do a separate memory location is basically getting created this is the difference between shallow copy and deep copy guys in this case shallow copy is not equal to deep copy because it is creating a different memory location so i hope you understood this guys this is the basic difference understand if i try to perform with the help of shallow copy my shallow copy will be something like this see instead of using this deep copy i'll be using um i'll just say that list one dot copy so this is basically shallow copy okay and if i try to perform this operation again like this it will not work see here i'm getting 100 and if i go and see list one again i'm getting 100 but if i do with deep copy then here you'll be able to see that only list two element will get updated list one will not get updated so just try to have a look onto this particular notebook i've discussed three things equal to copy and deep copy operation and i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you're not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one doll bye bye